Beginning in 1963, legendary soul crooner Marvin Gaye had a series of successful hit singles on the Motown label. Marvin Gaye was one of those guys that you instantly fell in love with. He had a vibe about him that was really warm, and uh, most of us girls fell in love with him <laughs> very early on. In spite of the Motown era, the United States was facing exceedingly turbulent times as the 1960s drew to a close. The 1960s civil rights movement, the sit-ins, the Freedom Rides, the great big march on Washington, this was basically an optimistic time. Things are happening. But by the time the 70s came along, Martin Luther King had been killed, Robert Kennedy had been killed, the civil rights movement had calmed down. And it was just a kind of confusing time, a time when you weren't sure what to do, what was next. Mother, mother, there's too many of you crying. Brother, 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 there's far too many of you dying. Though he was famous for his smooth love songs, by 1970, the mood across the country forced Gay to reevaluate his repertoire. In 1971, he released his landmark song, What's Going On. Father, father, we don't need to escalate. There was a great deal of unrest in America. I sort of saw the country headed for a hundred days civil war. And it caused me to take a hard look at society and something happened with me uh, during that period and I, I felt a strong urge to write music and to write lyrics that would uh, touch the souls of men. And um, in that way perhaps I felt I could help. All of a sudden here's an anthem. This is a message song and it's one of the first message songs by a, a black performer. Uh, and, you know, it was like a rallying cry. What's going on? What's going on? Hey, what's going on? Tell me what's going on. Ooh. It was a bold move for Marvin to make at the time. He did it in a way that made those political songs sound charming and sound sexy and sound beautiful and sound sensual. The lyrics were very surprising. Um, they were something that you not only listened to, but you understood, because that was what was going on socially. There had been riots across the northern part of the United States. The Vietnam War was raging. There was a heavy, heavy anti-war movement. After the tremendous success of the single, Gay recorded a full LP for Motown, also entitled What's Going On. His resulting self-produced album expanded on the themes of oppression, poverty, and violence. This seminal soul release broadened the opportunities for other R&B artists to sing about the issues of the times. It was an awakening for all of us in terms of uh, we all have got to be a part of this change, of this movement, and making the world a better place for us to live in. You can listen to what's going on right now. The subject matter is poignant. You can apply everything he's saying about the Vietnam War to the war in Iraq, and the music still sounds hot. You know, it's still important, urgent music. You could have never heard it before and hear it today and say, I thought he was dead, but he's not dead. He's alive and his music is alive. I want to know what's going on, baby. Yes, I want to know yeah, what's going on right now, people.